Welcome to the Lancaster County Democrats Watchful Citizen Show. Today's guest is Rick Boucher, and he is running for Lancaster County Attorney. And my name is Barbara Beyer. Rick, welcome today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yes, it's a beautiful day out, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Maybe spring is here for good. Yeah, we need it so bad. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Now, you're running for county attorney. It's been a long time since we've had a change in the Lancaster County Attorney's Office. And so we're really excited to see you running. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. OK. Thanks, Barb. It has. Uh, the last time the Lancaster County Attorney's Office was contested was 1994. The um, um, just a little by way of background, I was born and raised in Peoria, Illinois. Uh, I've been married to Janet for 32 years. We have three children. Philip is finishing up his last year of medical school uh, at UNMC. Connor is working in Peoria, Illinois. And Maddie is a second grader at Cathedral. Oddly enough, she just completed her first confession uh, on Thursday. Um, I went to the Bradley University. Uh, where I met Janet, who was, um, who was originally from Omaha. Uh, after Bradley, we got married at St. John's in Omaha, quickly loaded up a U-Haul truck and moved to Philadelphia. Uh, I attended the uh, uh, Villanova University Law School, graduating in 1980. While I was there, I was a uh, trial intern for the district attorney's office in Delaware County, which is just outside of Philadelphia, and also at the U.S. attorney's office uh, in Philadelphia. Um, so we packed up and came back to Nebraska, and uh, I started working as an agency legal counsel with the Nebraska State Patrol. Worked there for a couple of years, working with county attorneys and, and sheriffs and state troopers. The State Patrol was kind enough to send me to uh, Quantico uh, at the FBI Academy. That's kind of largely how we got here, and we've um, not uh, regretted a day. And, uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska is a wonderful state. Nebraska is about as wide as Illinois is long. Mm -hmm. So I still get back to Illinois and uh, occasionally the, uh, um, to see family and friends uh, uh, and others. That's really nice. Well, it sounds like you bring a wealth of expertise to the position and office of Lancaster County uh, Attorney. And so what since you're really kind of in the know on these kinds of things, tell us what do you think are the priority issues facing the county attorney's office? Well, let me tell you one reason uh, I'm running for county attorney. The, the overall reason is certainly public service. Uh, when we first arrived in, in Lincoln in 1980, uh, many of my uh, efforts were in the uh, community. I was president of the Boy Scouts of America, Cornhusker Council. Mm -hmm. I also was a longtime member of uh, the Downtown Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, uh, because of uh, I was on the, uh, the board, uh, there was a U.S. Supreme Court decision, again, in terms of community service, where the question before the, uh, uh, the board, as well as some of its members, was whether Rotary at that point was an entirely, uh, only males could belong. Uh, so as a result of a California opinion, which went clear to the United States Supreme Court, I issued an opinion uh, with the idea that qualified women would need to be uh, admitted if they applied. Because I believe the statute in Nebraska, which was uh, passed through the legislature by Senator David Landis, was probably even a little more stricter uh, than California's. Uh, after that, in terms of public service, to this day, I've been a longtime member of the Community Health Endowment, which is the trustee of the proceeds for Lincoln General Hospital. Uh, I also serve as the vice chair of the Charter Review Commission, uh, which looks at the charter every couple of years to see if it needs to be updated. And I am a trustee of the Asian Cultural Center. So it's really consistent with the idea of community and public service. Uh, I uh, as part of my practice also, uh, from 1983 to 1997, I was legal counsel to the Nebraska County Attorneys Association. I worked with all the county attorneys uh, across the state. And shortly after that, I also became legal counsel to the Nebraska Sheriff's Association. I defend both uh, on a regular basis. I have litigated uh, cases uh, for county attorneys as well as sheriffs in all three federal courts. And a, and a large group of 
uh, counties across the state. I represent their insurance carrier. Some of the changes that I think need to be made, uh, certainly to, uh, I will bring a strong sense of professionalism uh, to the office. I believe the county attorney's office needs to be, uh, that some uh, indications are uh, from the neighborhood associations that I've uh, visited with last year is that the confidence in the county attorney's office is on the wane. I think whether you look at the, um, uh, the difficult battle that uh, was waged kind of in the budget cuts where all county agencies were having their budgets slashed and I think uh, some took exception. Some people in the community took exception to Mr. Lacey, who was a good friend of mine and when he told me the, uh, he, was no long, he was retiring from public service, my first response was, say it ain't so, Gary. We've worked together for more than 20 years. But uh, I think Gary's uh, uh, letting the board know that most believe they resemble the uh, horses behind. <laughs> and then uh, the use of the F word in response to Senator Shore's question as to whether we, uh, he needed uh, 17 flat screen computers. So I think that's one issue. I think a strong level of professionalism needs to be restored. I think the documented error that uh, they have tried to uh, redo, for instance, uh, by going to Omaha to secure some pathologists. It'll save the county $100,000 a year. Uh, and I applaud that decision, but it was 10 years overdue. Uh, an overzealous expert is not one way to promote justice within the criminal justice system. And I think we had that particular expert for almost 10 years. So I think uh, that too has undercut the, uh, uh, the confidence in the office. I think the, the fact that we are Number six in collecting uh, child support, court-ordered child support, causes some concern. When there was a layoff, it was the, the layoff was out of the child support division. I believe that without a budget cut, and I have no intentions of asking for uh, an increase in the budget, that we can do more and do better in terms of uh, collecting child support to help those families uh, and kids who are looking uh, for those funds rather than assistance. The more child support you collect in certain programs, the larger the incentive payment is to county government from the state. So I think many of those issues, uh, again, I'll be tough on crime, 